Alright, my friends, we're going to throw back today. Um, I decided that we're going to do a what's in my purse or what's in my bag. <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes. Um, I did clean out my bag a couple weeks ago, but I mean, there's still some interesting stuff. It's a Rebecca Minkoff tote. It's my work bag, it's my pretty much everything bag. I have my whole life in here, um, so it might be a lengthy video. So let's just, uh, we'll start with the big stuff and then we'll go to the little stuff in the pockets. Um, so yeah, let's see. So this first little bag, I got this bag off Amazon. Um, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it is what it is. It has all of my like feminine products, like pads, tampons, um, I think this is like wipes for hair, dry shampoo sheets, <laughs> that's what that is. My one um, manager, she calls it my hoe bag. I have uh, Advil, deodorant, and yeah, that's it in this one. That's hoe bag number one. Hoe bag number two has a little bit more fun stuff. I'm gonna put this on the ground while I go through it. So this one came in a set with like travel stuff. It, so it came in like one large like tan canvas bag and then it had like a smaller clear one for like shampoo bottles and stuff. And I keep that in my gym bag. Maybe I'll do a what's in my gym bag even though it's not that interesting either. Um, but this was one of the ones that it came with and I use this for the rest of my house stuff. Um, dry shampoo, because I don't know if I trust those sheets, never used them. I like the bottles better. More deodorant. <laughs> I didn't really like the smell of the first one, so I, that's why I got this one. A uh, couple bottles of eye drops because I have dry eyes and my eyes don't like contacts I guess. Got some hair clips because my hair is a wild mess. And then I have a couple different lip products. So this one I absolutely love. If you ever get the chance to use it, I highly recommend. And if you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> the next one I heard this recommended in a video that I watched by Summer Fridays, the vanilla um, lip balm scent. It smells really nice. It is a little stickier, but I mean, it does the job. And then this one I ended up getting in like a kit that I bought because I love Tatcha and it looked like came free with the purchase. Um, it's just like a clear lip balm and then it has some gold flecks in it. Honestly, I feel like this is a crappy product. Compared to their skin stuff, I was kind of surprised and disappointed, but, um, so those are the moisturizing ones. And then I have some color lip products. Um, this was like a nice pinky color that I got from like a Clinique sample. And then this one my sister gave me. I really like this color. She gave it to me. I, oh, I did sharpen it, but it's a NARS. It came in a little duo pack, uh, and the color is intriguing i got a nice little hand sanitizer this came with like sephora points it's um like a lotion allergy eye drops i guess you can't really call this a hoe bag it's more like a jackie's essentials because otherwise i would go crazy and then i have three different like perfumes i have a twilight woods one because this was one of like my OG scents when I started getting into perfumes from Bath and & Body. And then, what was this? This was like bought on a whim. The Victoria's Secret Bombshell Intense. And then, I haven't smelled it in a while. It smells like um, alcohol. And then, this is now my like tried and true scent. And I haven't found anything better than it. 
For a while it was discontinued and then they brought it back. Um, it doesn't smell as the same as it did when they first released it, but I mean, it's close enough. Um, it's Guess Gold. It's my favorite. I actually haven't put any on today, so. And this, compared to the bottle I have, I feel like this was one of like the OG ones. Because I bought a set of it off of Poshmark or something. And this smells more like the OG perfume than the new bottle did, so. There's that. Uh, and then I have a pair of tweezers. Also, I tried putting on some lashes today, the like lash clusters, and I'm obsessed. I wish I had the time to do it every day because I would, but I don't, so. <laughs> uh, for a second, I got really into uh, like customizing sunglasses and uh, glasses for myself. So I bought these off of iBuyDirect. That's where I've been getting my glasses because I like to get my contacts through my eye doctor. Um, these are a little too big. I kind of want to see if I could take them to the eye doctor, have them adjusted to my ears a little bit better. These have my prescription in them. So y'all look a little crazy right now, but I do like them. But they like slide down my nose too much. So I need to see if they can like pick them up for me. I look like I'm from Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, this is pair number two. I think I wear these the most. These don't have the prescription in them. They're just like simple. And then I got to pick the um, gradient color. So it's like a green, which I think is different and I like it. And then last pair that I have with me, there is one other pair, but I think it's in the car. These are transitions. <laughs> They're a little intense. These also have my prescription in them. And then when I go outside, I have instant sunglasses. So I thought that was a nice pair to have. Next, what else is here? An almost finished pack of gum. Another clip. I have <laughs> like a phone stand that I got from Shein um, before I bought a stand for you guys. I had this and I was trying to film the wrapping presents thing and I had to like put rubber bands on so the phone wouldn't fall off. I mean, this. It does an okay job, but I think it's meant to be like in your car. No way is this going to stay standing up in your car. But I mean, it's nice to have, like if you're talking on the phone with someone and you want to just kind of like, hey, how's it going? Or like put it on the table, you know, like hands-free kind of deal. My parents' house keys and other random keys that I have. Um, oh, actually, I'm surprised this still works gym membership mariano's card my director got this from thailand when she went and then my mom years ago she had this suitcase and she gave it to this shop the lady like redid it she like put all this cool color paper and like hot modge podged it or whatever it's called so it was so it stuck on there and it's it's my art box now, but this was on it and it has like a bunch of my nicknames. Um, they call me Jaja, Quee, uh, this one I think says Jackie, yeah, and then a little like artist pad, but I think the colors came off. They, let's see, it used to be like, you know, like one of those things where you put them, you mix the colors, it was one of those. So yeah, I just have these in my bag just in case if I ever go to my parents and they're not home. See, so yeah, I have a couple cards because it was my birthday, not last week, but the week before. So I still need to take a look at those. A present for my sister. And then let's see, I have my bullet journal. I had a New Year's resolution where I wanted to like write more in this, which I like kind of tried to stick to, but it hasn't been going that well just because I've been so busy which I'm like really mad about because you know, I'm off Sundays now, but I'm still busy and can't find time to write in this for like 10 minutes. But um, yeah, we're gonna keep working on that. Cords, one's a iPhone charger, the other one's an Apple Watch charger. Cause you can never have too many. 
another clip. Okay, and then the last thing in the big pocket is this little pencil case that my, it's technically my sister's mother-in-law, but I guess I can call her my mother-in-law. She made these little bags for all of the bridesmaids and it has my name embroidered on it. It says Jackie. And it has a little purse, little keychain thingy, which is cute. But this just has all of my pens and like pencils for my bullet journal because wherever I go, they don't have what I need. So I have, you know, good old mechanical pencils, um, some markers to color, and then double-sided like tape to do like bullet journal design things. Um, what else? Eraser, gel pens, fun stuff. So yeah, I just have like a couple with me for the month that I'm trying to design in my bullet journal. I'm running out of space. I don't really keep anything in here. Um, there is something in here and I don't even remember what it is. Oh yeah, some business cards for this place I went to. I need to pass those out to friends. So yeah, there's nothing else in there. And then in this, there's a little pocket on the inside here. So we're gonna go through that. More pens, which actually should go in here. So let's do that now. We love an organized bitch. My um, work ID. <laughs> because I still technically work there. This isn't a lip liner. I kind of like this color. I just don't know if I'm like using it right. I don't really like wearing lip color in general just because I'm like, it's gonna wear off. What's the point? Whereas like eyes and like foundation and stuff, you could put on primers and things to help it last longer. And I don't usually have a problem with my makeup wearing off, just lip products. I don't have the patience to reapply it all the time. Like I don't want to have to deal with that. So. I only have like one of these. <laughs> the one lip product I did want to show you was this one. It's from Bath and Body. It's called the... One of my neighbors has this noisy ass car that squeaks and I really want them to get that fixed. I wanted to show you this lip balm before I was so rudely interrupted. It's called Nourishing Lip Tint uh, and it's by Bath and Body Works. I just got this and it's such like a nice simple shade of pink that I really like for my skin and my eyes. And it's a lip balm. So it's like, it's not super intense to where like, if it does rub, like rub off, you're not really gonna notice it. Last couple things, a uh, little towel for my glasses, some old receipt for my nails. I have an emergency because at the gym I was working at, someone was sick and I did not wanna get sick. So I bought a cup, brought a couple of these with me. And then these are the energy drinks that I drink a lot. It's called Zip Fizz. It is keto approved. So try it. And that is all. This might be a little short video, but I mean, it, it's a nice throwback, you know? I feel like people don't do it that often anymore. And it's interesting to see what products people carry with them. Uh, I wish I had more interesting things, but I don't. I probably would have my like car keys and my house keys in here, but I keep them in a bowl whenever I come in, so they're over there. Thanks for joining me. Let's put all this back now. You can watch me awkwardly put everything back in. That's my bag in a nutshell. Oh, and then I guess my phone would be in here too if I was like walking around, but, and then it clips shut just like that bye friends